Tax versus Jungle Boy. This match was fucking great. It was almost everything like, you would want and more. It was. It was like when I heard about this match and laid it out in my head. I thought it was going to be awesome, and it was slightly better. And I, I, I thought I thought Dax Harwood was so great in this match. And the other thing too is is like, I mean, I think we already knew this anyway, but when there's fans back and that song plays. That's going to be one of the hottest entrance songs in all professional wrestling, and people are going to be singing that song because you know what's going to happen? I think that they're going to start singing that song even when it's not playing in the middle of the match, like for his comeback. Dude, they just stuff. did that with these guys here. They they sang. I know. They sang his entrance. They sang the first few minutes of the match. And listen, I don't care what magic you do to make it seem like the crowd is hot, but they had that here. And Jungle yeah, but this Boy, was a super, this was a super match. Yeah, but like they were so into this match, and whether it was a combination of them being hot and some crowd sweeting. I mean, obviously, it's not crowd sweeting them singing a song. That's a real human. No, thing no, because that. because they yeah, no one's taping. But it fancy. felt like it felt like a full building that was super into the Jungle Boy, and that's what you need if you're going to create a star. And they put him over in this match. And he he he. The thing is also is to I mean you don't need to. But it sure helps to have a great opponent to put you over. Well, this obviously is, you want a great match. I mean, yeah. that's that's on top of everything else. They had a great match. He looked great. He wrestled a guy who looked great, and then he beat the other guy that looked great. You had uh, and you had a, and, and you had a strong angle after. Well, before that, you had Luchasaurus out there, and he's got Cash and Tully handcuffed to them. And of course, as the match is going on, like everybody's reacting, like you know. Dax does something dastardly, and Luchasaurus wants to get up, but the other two guys hold him back with the handcuffs. And then later, at the very end, when when finally Jungle Boy puts him in his his trap, his snare trap submission, like Tully and and Cash are desperately trying to hit the ring, but Luchasaurus holds them back, and Dax is trapped. There's no one to save him. There's nowhere to go, and he taps out to the Jungle Boy, like the biggest win of Jungle Boy's career by far, arguably bigger than when he beat me. Place goes crazy. <laughs> Huge win. It's a better match. Oh, get out of here, Dave. I mean, look, your well, match with Jungle was. Boy. Your match with Jungle Boy was good. Better. Well, your match with Jungle Boy was good, but this was really good. Yes, this was a fantastic match. So. Yeah, yeah. Dax is better than you. He is. He is. Unfortunately <laughs> for me, well, yes. fortunately actually, because he's wrestling and I'm not. But he is better than me. So the heels destroy Luchasaurus afterwards. <gasps> Maybe that's where the ten million came from. They thought that you were making that money on the independent scene. Well, when it does state my occupation, it does state wrestler. So yeah, you know, I made more than people thought on the indie scene. Yeah. So they beat everybody up afterwards. They handcuff Luchasaurus to the ropes. They chop his horns off, and then they're going after Jungle Boy's hair. But SCU, Marco, and Top Flight all run down and make the save. This was the best thing on either show. Best match of the week, and oh, God yeah. bless, you know, Brody and Jr. Kratos. But they, they, they had the best match until this match. They had the best match until this match. That is right. Yeah, but uh, freaking Jungle Boy is going to be a star, and Dax Harwood, and 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 you know, Cash Wheeler is kind of underrated. And he's great too. Those guys are like, boy, I if I had a promotion, I would I would just love to have those guys because the thing is, is like, you can push them as a team. But you can beat them, too, and they're so good, it doesn't matter if you... I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't matter if you beat them. If you beat them 50 times, like in WWE, it, it would hurt, of course. But as long as, like, they would win, like, half the time, they're so good that it's like... You could always put them in a main event, like, or a semi-main event on any show, and you can just, like, not even worry about it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like it's going to just deliver, you know, as long as the opponents are, are, are somewhat decent... And and Jungle Boy's better, you know. Jungle Boy's way better than that, you know. I mean, Jungle Boy, Jesus Christ, was was he twenty three, twenty four? I think twenty four, maybe. I think he's only twenty three. He's young. Yeah, I mean, I started watching him probably when he was he was going to college in Santa Cruz. I when I first started twenty three years old until June. So he's turned twenty four. Ah, look, in June. we almost share a birthday. How about that? So he's 23 years old. Yeah. In three years, this guy's going to be this guy's going to be such a big star in three years. Oh, my God. Seriously. I think a lot of people know that. I mean, I know Jericho told me he was going to, you know, a long time ago that he's going to be AEW champion soon enough. 
and he will be AEW champion at some point, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know. I don't think in three years, but he's going to be a big star in three years. That's for sure. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.